Hello Hemonites, this is Hash Robotics and I am Hari Shankar. I hope everyone is doing good and safe. I know it's been a long day since our last video. Um, sorry, I got stuck with some other work. Hereafter, uh, I will try to upload the video regularly. So, in this video, we are going to see about uh, our new project. Uh, this is Pico Hash. Yes, it's similar to Mini Hash, but it's time to upgrade. So, I have used Raspberry Pi Pico. This is just a small introduction video. In the upcoming videos, um, we are going to add a lot more features in it. So stay tuned with me. Let's dive into the video. But before that, if you did not subscribe the channel, please subscribe the channel for more robotic project videos. Like and share the video. If you have any doubts or suggestion, you can ask me in the comment section. Thanks. This is the new upgraded design for Pico Hash. As you can see, each part is having a sub part which has to be assembled together. Because if you want to modify any parts or reprint the damaged part, you can only print the sub part alone. You don't have to print the entire part. And I have used the basic URA setting to print the entire parts. There are 9 servo motors are used for the moments. 8 MG995 servo for hand and leg and 1 SG90 servo for head rotation. For facial expressions, I am using 1.3 inch I2C OLED display. At the back, there is a small switch to on and off the robot. Here is the heart of the robot, Raspberry Pi Pico module and to power the robot, I am using 12 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery. The 12 volt power which comes from the battery is supplied to LM2596 DC to DC buck converter through a small switch. By using the potentiometer, I am reducing the voltage from 12V to 6V. Then the reduced 6V is supplied to PCA9685 12-bit 16-channel servo drive. All 9 servo motors are connected to the servo drive from channel 0 to 9. The 5V out from the drive is used to power up the Raspberry Pi Pico module. Both PCA9685 servo drive and the OLED display are controlled by I2C communication.
as i mentioned earlier this is the 5 volt out from the servo drive the remaining pins are ground data and clock for i2c communication I have converted some of the robot movements from mini hash that means from C to micro python coding please watch and enjoy the video i'll see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.